All right, today we're going to be doing the uh, Schmino fly. Uh, I know it's been a while since I uh, tied a pattern for you guys. I've had a really, really busy last about month and a half. A lot of, uh, a lot of shop orders. Beach fishing here in Stewart's been on fire, tarping and snook everywhere in the surf. So it's been real busy and hard to find time to uh, do a video. But we're going to do a uh, video here on the uh, Schmino, or at least how I like to tie the Schmino. And uh, it's great because this is a good uh, beach pattern. And right now, beach fishing here is uh, about as good as you can get. So we're going to start out with a uh, Gamagatsu SC1510. I've already uh, laid down a base of thread. And uh, first thing we're going to go ahead and do is get a piece of uh, Select Marabou in white. And uh, it doesn't have to be Select Marabou. This is just the kind of Marabou I buy. You could definitely buy regular Marabou. Um, especially if you wanted to go much cheaper on this fly. We're going to make it a little bit more expensive uh, than what it has to be, but I like the way it looks. so. And we're going to measure about two times the hook length and just kind of pinch the material going off the back here. That looks good. All we're going to do is just wrap the material down the hook shank without catching all the stems in the way. And we'll cut out our excess. And kind of clean that up a little bit. Alright. Next thing we're going to do is we're going to get some small black uh, bead chain eyes. Uh, I just use bead chain when I'm throwing these flies in the surf because I want them to get down a little bit more. Uh, if you were making this for dock lights, I would suggest going with something like a. Um, pair of black uh, mono eyes that way or if you're on the flats or something you can have a nice lighter presentation it'll ride a little higher in the water column so we'll go ahead and get these eyes fixed right where we cut out our uh, select marabou just make sure they're good and tight in there then we'll work our thread all the way back back of the hook here Be just behind the hook point and we're going to get our next material which is the Sinyo's chromatic brush in the 1.5 inch uh, you could use a lot of different materials here you could use um, like a medium or large uh, cactus and you always works well especially if you want to save a little bit of money because this Senyo's brush isn't exactly the cheapest, but I like the way the Senyo brush works. That adds a little bit more movement, not as much flash. So go ahead, get this tied in. And this uh, this particular fly caught a pretty nice snook this morning, just shy of 30 inches off of uh, off of the beach before the tarpon started showing up and. I immediately switched over to a different fly to get tarpon. But. So we're going to just go ahead and palmer our Sinyo chromatic brush forward, just stroking it back after each wrap. You're going to use a pretty good amount of this brush. Like I said, this is definitely the more expensive version of a uh, Schmino you can make. Uh, Really, if you want to save money, I would suggest going with the uh, with like a cactus chenille or something. But I just think this looks so much better. Um, keep going forward here. All right. Then once we get to the eyes, what we're gonna do? Move my tackle plier back a little bit. Once we get to the eyes. We're going to jump the eyes diagonally once, stroke everything back, and then we're going to jump the eyes diagonally again twice. And that'll give us full coverage there on the eyes. 
And then we're gonna just do two wraps in front of the eyes and that'll give us all the wraps we need. I want a little bit more liberal with this brush than uh, you have to go. I like to get a little bushier. Um, if you want to conserve some brush, you can pretty much get two of these flies out of each uh, of the chromatic brush so it's not uh, too heavy on your wallet there. Alright, we'll get our bad pair of scissors and cut this out. Now we'll kind of push everything back. Just kind of wrap down tight. Trying to make sure we get over that uh, leftover piece of wire there. Build up a little bit of a head. And if you got any fibers kind of sticking out, you can just take your lighter. Just singe them right away. We'll go ahead and finish here on the front. All right. Now I like to take my uh, my Bakken and just kind of pick out some of the uh, some of the trapped fibers that we had when we were palmering. Just rotate the fly and just kind of just pick them out as you go along. Again, kind of stroke them all back. I like to come with my uh, scissors and just give it just a little bit of a haircut. Just try to get some of those longer uh, fibers on the chromatic brush out of there. Give it a little bit more of a uh, little bit more of a minnow shape. And that's pretty much it. When I'm fishing these on the beach, I try to tie them quickly. So uh, I really don't add uh, any loom flow to the head, but if you want to add something to the head uh, to make it a little bit more durable, you can. This is a, uh, this is a little simple schminnow fly. Great for, uh, great for the beach snook, great for dock light snook. Uh, if you're on some uh, shallow flats, looking to throw a little minnow pattern, works out really well. Nice uh, light presentation. All you gotta do is just make sure, you know, if you got any stragglers, just clean them up. But yeah, that's why uh, this fly works out great, and uh, you know, I hope you guys like it. Uh, we're about 25 subscribers away from our uh, contest, so if we can get 25 more subscribers, uh, we'll do the drawing for our contest. We got about a hundred dollars worth of uh, flies and materials uh, for the winter. So if you guys haven't already, please subscribe to. Uh, the channel please uh comment on the uh instagram contest post and uh yeah we'll see you guys uh next time for another fly thank you